we, we talked earlier on about um, the, the saviour and I guess you mentioned, Terrell, about how in general conferences of, of late, we've been hearing a lot about his um, his vulnerability, his love that he has to us, his, his kindness to us. The question that we got that, that came through is, why, why does the Old Testament God seem to be quite different from the New Testament God? I guess the, the old vengeful um, Old Testament rather than the, the meek, humble and loving Christ that we see in the New Testament. How do we equate the two records, do you think? Yeah, good question. You want to take that one? Yeah, no, I think it's really, really important to realise that the Old Testament has been around for a very, very long time. And there have been emendations made to it and things removed from it. Probably the greatest um, um, work on the on the Book of Mormon was by the Deuteronomists. Not, the, not on the Book of Mormon. I'm sorry, but <laughs> the Old Testament um, was by King Josiah and uh, his Deuteronomists. We presume that they were priests. Um, King Josiah, as we know, was um, lived at the, about the time Lehi did. Um, and he uh, and it was called the Great Reform. Essentially, he extracted from um, the biblical text, um, the Old Testament, which was their text of time, a, an incredible amount. Um, uh, um, scholars are suggesting that the um, the character of God was changed uh, in the ancient Hebrew tradition. The, the um, Hebrews worship three gods: El, God the Father; El Shaddai, God the Mother and Yahweh. And um, he reduced, he wanted monotheism, so he collapsed the two male deities into one male deity who was very angry, um, um, pulling in from the traditions of the other religious um, religions around him. And then the, the Heavenly Mother was banished absolutely entirely. Now, what is so interesting, I think, is, is that Lehi left. Lehi's life was threatened um, and God led him out of Jerusalem. According to Margaret Barker, who's probably one of the foremost scholars on the Old Testament and particularly the tradition of uh, Heavenly Mother, and she can't remember where she lives in England, but um, she suggests after looking at the Book of Mormon and looking at the Old Testament, what is happening, that Lehi was opposed to what the Deuteronomists were doing. They were essentially changing the entire tradition of the temple. And he was against that, as were many others. Most of um, the people who were against what the, Deuter the Deuteronomic reform, there were a number of temples um, in, in Judah, um, Judea, in, in the northern and the southern kingdom. And Josiah wanted them all, wanted them destroyed and actually did destroy them all and centered his political and religious power in Jerusalem. Most of the people who um, were against this effort of Josiah um, emigrated to Egypt. Lehi and his family were brought, of course, another way. So it's really nice because we, we have, as, as a restored gospel, um, a scripture that actually um, goes in hand with and explains what is going on. Why was Lehi's life being threatened? Why was it necessary for he, he for him to leave with his family? And Josiah's reforms is probably a very clear evidence of that going on. So that was um, reformed, the, the biblical text, the Old Testament was reformed considerably <laughs> at that time. But then it's undergone um, reformations, changes. Have you seen, it's been done in the New Testament. So essentially we go back to um, what Joseph said, there are correct characteristics of God and a wrathful, vengeful, tyrannical, genocidal God. Those are not the characteristics well, of the God we worship. Are you disagreeing with me? No, but I'm going to <laughs> summarize what you said elsewhere that I think is a more economical way of answering Economical, this. thank you. <laughs> is that Joseph Smith once said, there are many things in the Bible that do not accord with the revelations of the Holy Spirit to me. In December, just months after the Book of Mormon comes off the press, Joseph Smith seeks to redress the deficiencies in the Bible that he's read about in the Book of Mormon by engaging in a new translation. So he begins to retranslate the, the, the Bible. Of course, notice that he never finishes the project. It's never published by the church. And it's as if, we think, it's as if he realizes I, th there's too much damage. And so what does he do? He reveals the Book of Moses. Yeah. And what we get is a radically new conception of God as a mm. weak father. Mm. That's 
correct. That so. is so economical. Yeah, women. <laughs> <laughs> you complement each other so well. It's it's so nice to see. <laughs>